It looks like Shiba Inu holders may have a lot to gain from the latest Coinbase update. If you have any sheep tokens at all, you should really watch this video because of the upgrade. Disclaimer, one piece of advice provided to anyone entering the cryptocurrency market is to keep your wits about you at all times. If you wish to avoid losing tokens that have already been sent, double check the wallet address before sending. The situation has evolved, however, just recently, one of the largest centralized exchange platforms, Coinbase, has developed a method to recover accidentally transmitted cryptocurrency, in this case ERC-20 tokens of which Shiba is a type. As of the 15th of December, individuals who have sent up to 4,000 ERC-20 tokens from their Coinbase accounts can retrieve them. Thus, here is your chance to get back any Sheep tokens you may have sent to the wrong Coinbase wallet by accident. The incorrect token recipient's address and the Ethereum transaction ID are all that is required. This is an excerpt from the Coinbase announcement. Without disclosing secret keys, our recovery tool can transfer unsupported assets from your incoming address to your self-custodial wallet. We did this by bypassing our centralized exchange infrastructure and instead sending the funds straight from your incoming address using patent pending technology. Very interesting. The fact that a cryptocurrency exchange is providing a service to retrieve accidentally issued tokens is not unprecedented. On the other hand, Certain crypto markets only perform this recovery on a case-by-case -case basis, so it's possible that yours won't be selected. Shape tokens that were delivered to the wrong Coinbase wallet are now retrievable thanks to the exchange's new technology. In case you were unaware, transferring tokens to the wrong wallet has been a problem for quite some time, with several people having taken legal action over the matter. In one high-profile case from 2018, a court ordered that tokens be returned to the wallet that had acquired them in error. Not long after that, a parallel event occurred in Australia. Because of this newfound ability to retrieve tokens that were transferred in error, Coinbase should no longer have to deal with similar lawsuits in the future. This is fantastic news for Shiba and you, as it means that token holders can now reclaim their tokens if they have accidentally sent them. There's a chance that new investors will be more open to investing in sheep because of this erroneous message. Because of what Binance's CEO just mentioned, it's possible that more users who hold their own SHIB would decide to switch to a cryptocurrency trading platform like Coinbase that provides recovery possibilities. If you've been keeping up with CS, then you already know that he doesn't mind if you keep your own crypto in your possession. To the contrary, he supports such behavior and even offered advice that one time to ensure that it was carried out properly. It seems, though, that he has changed his tune somewhat in recent times, which may be the result of things he has been observing. He still has faith that self-custody is married, provided it is executed well, but he is skeptical that most people are up to the task. He stated clearly that due to multiple factors, including improper storage of security keys and unencrypted set security keys, 99% of persons who engage in self-custody will lose their crypto. Coinelegraph reports that he made these claims on Twitter, and what follows is an excerpt of what he reportedly stated. When it comes to security keys, most people don't have a backup plan. The gadget is going to be misplaced. Without the right tools, they cannot secure their backup. Someone will jot it down on paper. The money will be visible to others, who will then steal it. After death, there's no way to leave anything to loved ones. One of the major problems with exchange platforms is that if your tokens are lost, they can't be recovered. Even if custodians like Binance can follow a standard operating procedure, now that Coinbase has resolved this issue, self-custodial shareholders may begin using exchanges. Please note that this is not a promotion of any particular cryptocurrency exchange. The general rule is that you are the only one who gets to say where your tokens go. Make sure you do your homework first. The topic now shifts to whales. Could it be that whales in the sheep family are getting rid of their sheep? In a recent transaction, two unnamed whales exchanged over 2.6 trillion sheep tokens, or $22 million. This doesn't look strange at first glance, but then you remember that the wallet that supplied the tokens is now empty. On the other side, the quantity of tokens held in the wallet from which they were transferred is now exactly equal to the transferred. There is no more to it. Thus, this is not a whale dumping ground. But before we get into that, you should know that this channel gives out 100,000 sheets every day. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment to enter. Sheba and you have a prosperous life. 
In the eyes of the experts, this is merely a redistribution. This redistribution of roughly 2.6 trillion tokens can only have been made by a whale or a cryptocurrency exchange. However, you should be aware that there are currently fewer sheep tokens per whale than there were a week ago. There is still a lot they can store, but not as much. She should get back to the top of the list soon, I hope. Finally, it appears that an Ethereum dump may soon occur. So we must exercise extreme caution today. System for analyzing cryptographic data in a recent tweet, CryptoQuant speculated that a large-scale Ethereum sell-off might occur soon, offering two main justifications for their prediction. An extreme increase in deposits into the Ethereum 2.0 deposit contract, where they will remain locked until the Shanghai hard fork, is the first event you've identified as occurring today. About 12% of the total Ethereum supply is currently locked in contracts. Also, the graph clearly demonstrates a declining trend in the number of depositors. The latter, according to data published earlier by Ethereum, is due half a year after the March event, which took place in the middle of September. That is in March of 2023. The fact that 12% of the total Ethereum supply is currently locked and not many other deposits are being made does not seem to be a great thing for Ethereum. It could mean that people are wary of the coin and are choosing to play it safe by locking and or not venturing in with new investments. If this continues, a sellout rally doesn't seem unrealistic. And if a sellout happens, it makes you wonder whether it might affect Sheep which exists on the Sheep platform. The second reason that CryptoQuant believes that an Ethereum sellout is a possibility is because the amount of Ethereum on exchanges has continued to drop. This goes to show that people have already started pulling out their Ethereum crypto from said exchanges. But CryptoQuant believes that the Shanghai hard fork is the event that would actually kick off the Ethereum sell-off. And that's because it would make it possible for people to pull out their state coins. All of this sounds crazy, not just for Ethereum holders, but maybe also shareholders as well. And that's because Shiba Inu was built on the Ethereum blockchain. So if the native token of Sheba's blockchain of origin falls out of favor, wouldn't it affect the blockchain and by extension, Sheep? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, Please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.